we're going to the birthing person of the hour, and that is uh, State Senator Wendy Rogers. She represents Northern Arizona. She's a Republican. She's part of the Republican majority in Arizona that called for this audit. Wendy Rogers, that is the Flagstaff area. And she sent a scathing message to uh, Attorney General Merritt Garland the other day, who decided to now all of a sudden weigh in on Arizona's audit, which they have every right to do under the Tenth Amendment, and say, hey, if you guys touch these ballots and go forward with this, we may be putting people in jail. That was enough for State Senator Wendy Rogers, who's joining us now. Senator Rogers, thank you for being with us. That obviously hit a nerve because you sent back a scathing message to Attorney General Garland. Can you tell everybody what you said? Well, I basically told the Attorney General to stay out of Arizona's business. Uh, This is a state's right issue. And uh, the DOJ needs to concentrate on what its role should be, which is to uh, protect our border, uh, prevent drug trafficking and human trafficking on our border, and uh, realize that uh, we don't need them interfering here with our audit of 2.1 million ballots in Maricopa County, which has been, as you said, John, upheld by four different courts. And uh, we are almost done. Uh, As you can see, uh, this is mostly now the evaluation process where we are uh, forensically looking at the ballots. We're looking at the paper to see what fibers are in the paper. Uh, We're looking to see if the oval was actually uh, filled out by a human being or a machine. Uh, We're looking to see if the uh, target crosshairs line up on some of the corner markings, as well as uh, little uh, yellow dot watermarks on many of the ballots and so forth. So this is an excruciatingly detailed process. We're very, very proud of this process. And I've hosted numerous uh, state representatives and uh, state senators from other states. And I think that in turn made DOJ nervous.